So it is November 9th, 2021 at 2.32 p.m. in the afternoon. I may have, uh, I was about to say making and having. I didn't know whether or not to choose. I was going to say having my lunch, but then I had figured it'd be better if I said make, I'm, going, I'm going to make my lunch. Make more lunch now with the leftovers here. My little spot in there. Oops. Same as yesterday, basically. I have a lot here. It's still good for for a while because the tamarian balsamic in there preserves it. So it's good. Uh, I've got my special vegan wraps. Got a lot of video to go off. This is sealed. Like... Take off the air a bit in a little bit. Okay. It's not the cleanest section. My sister has stuff to, to wash that's over here. Our cat our cat's uh, dish is is there it needs to be cleaned. Anyways, I have to uh, find a utensil. It's okay. This one always seems to be good. It's always reliable, that one. It's always good to work with, that one. Dependable. Oh, this is so good. Look at this. I didn't let it sit out today, though. I like letting it sit out sometime, sometimes. See, the tofu is still in the kind of a solid form. It's good. Smells really good too. It's <laughs> the door. It smells almost like chicken noodle soup today. It smells a little like chicken noodle soup. It's interesting. Must be the nutritional yeast added to it. Okay, it's good enough to work with. There's a lot there, you see? Can make another three of them. That's an addition of three others from the past three days or so. Maybe four. So it makes a total of six to seven of them. I had made for this. I'm sure, it's sealed. Okay. Okie dokie, the olives. Which one are the one? Yeah, that's this is the new one. There's more olives in there than the other. Okay. Got a uh, special bowl here to work with. Is it clean? Yes, it's clean. We have special. Uh, Special bowls from uh, the Asian market. The nearest one from here is about 40 minutes to an hour away. Where I used to live, it was only like 15 to 30, well, it's only about 15 minutes away where I used to live. This is okay to work with this one. If you all live in cut in halves. Six, seven, eight. Eight is a good number. I love the smell of it. It's uh red wine vinegar. 
that they're marinated in. I believe it's natural oils, obviously. Okay, you good, me. Seems pretty clean. <laughs> Spread it out. It's okay for. I like to add a little bit of the juices from the olive bottle in there to a little red wine vinegar added to the mix. It's good. I put it on a pan and warm it up at 375 for about 10 minutes. So I like it kind of warm, you know? I don't have to wash it anyways. this up now. Mm -hmm. I do this with one hand. That's great. When I bake it, it closes a bit better. I warm it up like this. After I fold it a bit. It's good. Very good. It smells great. It smells like chicken broth, actually, but obviously there is none in there, which is good. Obviously, it smells like the Amy's chicken, no chicken noodle soup. It's vegan. It just smells that way. I think I've made a, I've made a replica of that once, I believe, or something. Or I tried to. Something turned out tasting like it once. So I made the tofu. I used to also uh, add additional tofu to the Amy's no chicken noodle soup. I used to do that quite often. Okay. Let's do everything like this. From the Put this in the fridge. It's good. It's all good. All good. It's all good. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Okie dokie. I like these bowls. I like the design on them. It's nice to go to, let's say, the Asian market. It's nice to go there. I like the puff tofu you get in the, uh, it's like a air, it's not air, it's like packed with air. The puff tofu. It's like a, in a plastic package that has air pumped into it. It's like from the factory. Sometimes you have to be careful with how, you know, you always have to look at the ingredient, ingredients to make sure that they say like vegetable oil and not like um, where if it doesn't mention anything, there's a chance they could use eggs in there, like egg whites and stuff. So you have to be very careful. But a lot of the um, Asian markets have vegan, plant-based, vegan-compatible uh, products. Like their puff tofu, chances are it's 
it doesn't have the egg whites, but you'll have to always like look for that vegetable oil on the ingredient list to be extra precautious. To take extra precaution, to, to be precautious. It's important. They also sell mochi and stuff like that that comes in the plastic packaging. A lot of interesting things. When you go into, let's say, the produce section, they have the uh, durian fruit, I believe, there. And so it's kind of like a big, spiky, melon-shaped, a spherical fruit. And it smells like lemons most of the time. Um, it smells like <laughs> as if it was like a lot of citrus in that in the department, in the produce department there. However, I've never seen mandarin oranges there, or lemons to speak of. I've seen the, the spiky type of large spherical fruit. I think that's durian fruit. I'm not sure. They say once you cut into durian fruit, it smells like stinky feet or dirty feet or something like that. Or gym socks or stuff like that. But on the outside, in 